Hello friends, in this video tutorial we will learn the working of electricity detector. First of all we see the circuit diagram for the electricity detector. For designing an electricity detector we have to use one IC SCF4017BE. Basically it is a 16 pin IC for decode counter. So these are the pin configuration for the IC. Uh, I will discuss this connection later. Uh, after IC we have to use one 100 kilo ohm resistor and one LED and one battery 9 volt and one wire for the detection. Now see the pin diagram for this IC to know more about this IC. So for uh, on pin number 16 we have to connect one supply that may be from 3 volt to 15 volt. So you can see this in diagram at pin number 16 we have connected one supply of 9 volt. And on pin number 8, you can see pin number 8 is 0 volt or which is equivalent to ground. So we have connected this ground to the pin number 13 and 15 because pin number 13 is for disable and pin number 15 is for reset. If I keep these pins open, then these pins will be treated as high and the circuit may be reset. If 15 pin is open then it will treat as high. So we have to connect this pin to the 0 volt or ground. So this will not affect the operation of the circuit. And similarly 13 pin if it gets open then it will behave as high and the circuit will be disabled. So to prevent from disabling the circuit we have to connect pin number 13 to the pin number 8 that uh, offers 0 volt. So we have connected these two pins to the ground volt. So you can see pin number 13 and 15 are connected to the pin number 8 that is providing ground. After that pin number 14 is for clock. So basically this is the counter. This is the internal circuitry you can see. This is the internal circuitry for this IC. I am not going inside the circuitry for this circuit but uh, you can see the clock is available here. Clock. So clock control the function of the circuit. So when clock is high, then we will get some output. Clock is low, then we get output. Okay. So other pins you can see here are for the output. So this can be open blank. These are left open, so there is no problem. So when we apply clock by using this wire the circuit gives output and we have taken output here from pin number 9. Pin number 9 is representing output that is the output number 8 and this output is taken in the form of the blinking of this LED and this 100 kilo ohm register will control the current or we can say it will control the intensity of this LED. If its value is high, it will be eliminated with very low intensity. If its value becomes low, then it will glow with high intensity and it may be burn if its value is very low. When we bring this wire in the vicinity of an electric circuit or electric line, then some disturbances start occurring in the clock pulse that are applied on the pin number 14. So according to that the output start varying. So that comes in the form of blinking of this LED. You can see this, this circuit. This is the circuit for this. We have implemented on the PC board. You can see the video for the implementation of this board. If I connect this, so here you can see we are providing this source of light, so it's starting blinking. If I remove this, then no blinking. I commits to start blinking. Okay? 
So I think working is clear for the circuit. Thank you.